Our next scientist makes trains out of sharks. No, sorry. Our next scientist trains sharks. Oh, I hope we sent the bill to the right place. I'm here at Moat Marine Aquarium in Sarasota, Florida to meet marine biologist Amanda Hodo. And she has one of the coolest jobs ever. I mean, where else can you dive with sharks, hand feed goliath groupers, or spend your day swimming with exotic sea life? Not to mention, get paid for it. Well, there's actually a lot more to her job than kicking back in an aquarium. When I was younger, I really loved animals, but I quickly realized that I'm allergic to most of them. What made me interested in marine biology was when I did programs in high school with the Shedd Aquarium. Um, I won a scholarship to study marine science on a research vessel in the Bahamas for two weeks, and that was the moment that I knew that marine science was for me. So what does a typical day look like for you? Personally, I care for several exhibits, from lionfish to ribbon pipefish to seahorses. And as a bonus, weekly I get to dive in our shark exhibit. Wait, so free rent, free food, and someone picks up after you? Where do I sign up? Let's go. OK, so tell me about these little guys. So this is a neon goby breeding system. I built and designed it myself specifically for that reason. These little guys are actually extremely vital to the underwater ecosystem. They're really important for healthy coral reefs. So when we put them in other systems, they actually clean the fish that we have in our other habitats. No way. You take the goby fish, you put it in another tank, mm -hmm. and then it cleans that environment too? Absolutely. That is so cool. Wait, you think I could take a couple of them home, maybe throw one in my bathroom, maybe one in my bedroom? These mini marine animals feed on dead scales off other fish, but when it comes to a quick snack, they're not picky. If you put your hand in, they'll eat the dead skin cells off. Kind of tickles. Now that I've faced a herd of hungry goby, I'm ready to stare down more formidable beasts. A habitat featuring Florida native sharks. And you definitely don't want these guys feeding on you. Don't tell me we're getting in here. Oh, no. We're, we're just going to be training them. OK. So much better. What are you trying to train them for? So it actually helps with their short and long-term care. So when we can train them to come to a specific target, we can move that target where we need them to go. Training the sharks makes feeding them much easier in human care. It also allows the staff to summon the sharks if they need to get an examination or physical. And yes, I guess sharks do get physicals. Just don't ask me to put a thermometer in their mouth. Okay, so I'm gonna do the auditory cue first, and then you're gonna put her target in the water. So you're gonna flip it and put it down a couple of feet. Yep, just like that. And then when she comes to the target, I'll use the tongs and give her a nice big tasty piece of fish. and these organisms need to be cleaned up after. Amanda asked me to help, but I know that there are sharks in these tanks, so I offered to help clean in a different way. Oh, she said, oh, what is it? Oh, no. Oh. It's been an amazing day, but I better let Amanda get back to work. Which reminds me, I really should go home and clean my room. 